Okay, so now we're going to be heading into the dungeons to get our first ingredient for the Polyjuice Potion, which is the Powdered Bicorn Horn. Okay, let's get some beans from these knights. I'm going to start off by saying this is probably one of my favourite design levels in the game, this upcoming one. But I wasn't quite able to get it all in one video. So I will have to cut it out at the end, but in the next video it will be finished. So now, the room we seek is through here. And this ectoplasm blocked the door by some disgusting bastard who put that there. <laughs> and as Harry foreshadowed in the last part, this place has corridors full of goo. So, not the most pleasant place you'd like to go, but I do like the way it's designed. With the sort of luminescent colours it's got. And look down there. A pool of slime. Where are the Ghostbusters when you need them? Okay, now this platform comes down. Now the normal way to go is through that door there, but if you look up, there's a couple of secrets. One of them blocked by ectoplasm, so you think that would be the more worthwhile secret? Well, you'd be wrong. Got two chests, but all they contain are chocolate frogs that hop away from you. So yeah. Kind of tricks us there, but through here you at least get some beans and a gargoyle witch. You cast on it, it creates these platforms that block up the pit. Convenient. Let's go down here. See, now normally you'd have to just hop from platform to platform there, but avoiding the pits, but here you don't have to worry about it. Now you don't have to worry about that pixie too much either. Okay, now for this bit. You release the slime flow, it builds up the pool and raises the platform. Pretty neat. So, more secrets. I'm also going to take this time to say this for the record. I do want to get back to making another video game review or top 10 list. But I have hit a bit of a reviewer's block as I don't really know what to do next. But if I get a good idea, I'll work hard on that and, you know, try and make another one. But for now, let's push these snails onto... That's actually a scale. What it does is it raises that and fire crabs. Now these ones are a little annoying to cast out initially because you've got this metal pipe work in the way. And you have to push them out. Bit of a bitch, but those are the cages you're meant to push them into. If you go in there, then you get various stuff. It all adds up though, so take a bit of time out and you get wigan tree bark. Okay. Get that. Okay, is he in? Make sure. Yeah, I think everyone's hitting a weird glitch in this game where the fire crab was sort of half in the cage and half out the cage. The door closed and it sort of half closed on him. I gave him another push to make sure he fully went in because, I mean, what if he got free? That would be trouble, wouldn't it? Now yeah, we discover another secret. And be careful in this room because there are pixies here. And as proven before, you don't want to get bitten by a pixie. Unless you're talking pixie lot. Anyways. Can I reach? No, not quite. What you are supposed to do is get rid of this ectoplasm which is blocking a bridge and then you'll be able to get across oh I just got blocked okay 
didn't quite have enough range, but now I can hit him. And we continue onwards. Hmm, I think I briefly saw a fire trail, so that can only mean in this next room. Yep, orange snails. Okay, what's in here? It's not great rewards, so... Might as well open this chest. Pretty standard stuff. And now, what we got? Oh, I know them. Uh, Bother some things. <laughs> yeah, there's always been generally more comedic enemies than really threatening ones. <clears throat> It's a little bit annoying that some of these secret doors have load times. I mean, if you're impatient, then it would be annoying. Luckily, I've learned to get more patience, because, I mean, if you've been using a Windows computer that's above XP, those things are slow as shit. Makes Sonic 06's loading times look like an N64 game. Now, this next room's interesting, because it's sort of a puzzle. So yeah, let's open this chest and oop, Peeves pops out. But he doesn't hurt you, he just sort of is a bother. Now what you have to do here is hit these switches to flip the doors around. Now you'd want to free up that big arch there to get through, but if you do some other door patterns, there are some nice goodies you can get. So let's see. Get a brief second to like look at it and plan out how you're gonna get there. Okay. Once you think you've got a good place to go, go down here on the platform. We'll take care of this gnome first. Now this next bit is actually a little tricky because it's quite a big jump and can be easily missed so we go through here and get some secrets which is initially beans at first but you also get potion ingredients I mean if you're like a super beginner at this game who wants all the help they can get it's worth taking a bit of extra time out get to get them But of course, that's not the way we're supposed to go, so... Back up we go. To flip some more doors. Okay. No, not that one. Yeah, hit the green one. <clears throat> now we can go back down. <clears throat> I'll, yeah, I'll definitely say this. This is a pretty colourful level. That's probably why I like how it's designed and the luminescent atmosphere the dungeons create. <coughs> Wait, where am I going? I forgot that other secret door. That would have defeated the purpose of me freeing them all. <coughs> Righty ho. Now all we want to do is free up the path we need to take. I 
if you're going for all the secrets, it can be a bit of a time-consuming puzzle, but, you know, it's worth going out your way to try and get them. And through the door we go. What we now come to is what looks like a potion storage room. I'm sure Snake won't mind if we <coughs> borrow from it. And by borrow, we mean steal and never give back. You can never have enough flobber worm mucus. Okay. Now that's not the end of the level, even though it looks like it was a storeroom. There's still another one to go. Now the slime is red. Bit, bit. Got. Oh, pixies. We got what looks like a wooden spoon. I, mean, I wouldn't want to eat this, even though it looks like jelly. What you do is you wait for it to come over and ride it. Or you could just do that. That's the recommended tactic for speedrunners, to just wait for like the middle distance in between and then hop and hop. Gets you across quicker. I don't recommend it for beginners, but I recommend you be more patient than that. Well, it's just if you want to show off like me. Waiting. There we go. And now through this next room. Oh, a gnome! And another bronze wizard card. Get up a nice collection of wizard cards. Let's throw the gnome away. Um, <laughs> the firecrab couldn't hit me, he just burnt the floor. But if he does burn the floor, then don't walk over it because you'll get hurt. But common sense would tell you not to run into fire, obviously. Now for a climb. Trying to figure out the best way to get up here. Alright. Now this is actually not the way you're meant to be going, but... I do recommend you go this way, because well, I'll show you later, after we get rid of this gnome. Into the hole you go. And let's take care of these pixies firstly. Now look at that bridge that's going back and forth. That looks very unsafe. I wouldn't want to go across that, would you? But fear not, because this gargoyle opens up a secret. <laughs> a chocolate frog just jumped into me. Uh, it tried so hard to dodge me, but it ended up doing the exact opposite. Dumbass. And now we can just cross the other side safely. I mean, why would you go on that rickety bridge when you can just do that? Okay, we're nearly there now. We've nearly got the ingredient. Just steal a bit more from this storeroom. Get more jelly. Yeah, I wonder what could be here. It's a trap! 